welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and having a super duper lovely day so today i'm going to be doing a reading on john somi somi <laughs> i hope i'm saying her name right um and this is going to be off of her current energy and as usual i'm gonna make a quick disclaimer that i'm not gonna divulge too much into her personal life out of respect for her and for whomever i do a reading about in the future also guys if you like any of the decks that i use you can find all the information in the description box below i've been getting a lot of questions so i've decided i'm going to start adding links in the description box um but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah without further ado let's just get started hi guys oh wow <laughs> so many cards jumped out for Sami from the get-go and to be honest i thought that it would feel quite light-hearted i thought that the first cards that jumped out was going to be quite light-hearted but i'm already feeling some tightness in my chest and um anyway i'm gonna start right here um somi is someone who is has very high aspirations she is talented she wants to achieve a lot in life um unfortunately i feel like right now with the nine of wands it feels like things just are not going her way it feels like uh, things have been progressing very very slowly in regards to the things that she wants to happen the things that she wants to achieve it just feels like things are progressing slowly but she's staying hopeful she's um trying to kind of like stay positive basically but i do see that this is something that's currently weighing in her mind um she is someone who gets along with a lot of different people, a lot of people from different backgrounds. She's someone who's very kind. She's someone who really appreciates the people that are surrounding her. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't see that many good people in her life. I see that she wants to like, um, she wants to see the best in people. She wants to befriend everyone. She wants to kind of like, um, just connect with everyone that's the word that i'm trying to find she wants to connect with people but i do see that a lot of the people that she trusts aren't actually good for her they're actually people that maybe say things behind her back or don't necessarily have her best um their best intentions at heart in regards to her so i feel like there's actually a lot of people that are jealous about her um jealous of her jealous about just in general, I don't know, it's just, she's so kind, and she wants to, she just wants to give love, but I, it's just, I don't know, I just see that, that she doesn't really have that many good people in her life right now, but I do see you guys that with the judgment, she is entering a period of renewal right now, a new cycle, so I feel like something is going to change very, very soon in terms of her life in general, but um, yeah, let's see what's, what's going to happen in her life i feel so bad like what is wrong with people sometimes i don't understand like someone people are so good to you right she is so good to these people but i just feel like they wrong her or they say horrible things about her behind her back but they're able to like pretend like they're the bestest of friends in front of her face you know i really don't like that anyway um yeah so what else is currently going on in somebody's life what's going to happen to her life in the next three months can you tell us a little bit more about the judgment card interesting it's about her passion or creativity it's about her job so oh <laughs> oh my goodness okay sorry there's a card that fell wow you guys okay so in terms of her career something is going to change very very soon she's about to enter a period of renewal rebirth i feel like she's going to um do a comeback or something very soon and it's going to happen very very quickly because we have the eight of wands um she's feeling very excited about it um and it's basically a new cycle and with the judgment and the wheel of fortune i feel like she's going to change something drastically so it could be the sound of her music it could be um I don't know like the visuals like maybe the way she portrays herself um the image that she portrays the sound i don't know something is changing or it could even be like management or something like that but to be honest i feel like it has to do with her creativity so i feel like it's you know it's her sound her image something is going to change 
and she's this time she's kind of taking charge she's not listening to too many people because in the past i feel like she listens to so many different people she takes on too much of their um opinions when it really doesn't um it really has nothing to do with them it's more about her so she's taking more charge of her career of her image of what she wants to portray this time around and she's not listening to other people she's only trying to listen to her heart and what she wants to achieve but as I mentioned, this has been slow going. Um, this has been a slow process, but she's really eager to get things going. Um, I mean, she's been eager to get things going for a really long time. But there is definitely a change and a rebirth looming in very, very near future. Um, but yeah, let's see through Oracle. What else, guys? Can you tell us about Somni? Let's just talk in the... <laughs> you guys, look at this. It's happening it's happening very very soon so for you guys that have been waiting for something new from somi you're about to um receive your wish your wish is about to come true because you're very close to achieving your goal and she has the eight of wands so it's ready it's about to come out you guys we have the judgment the wheel of fortune the gibbous moon and the eight of wands it's happening she's been waiting for a really long time and i mean it's literally been something that she's been working on for a really really long time but it feels like um things have just been moving so slowly not on her part on her part she's been doing what she needs to do but it almost feels like everything she tries to do gets halted gets halted can you see these wands it's basically like she's building something right it's like she's building a foundation but they get burned every time she tries to build it it gets burned she tries to move into the house the house moves like it's just um, been very slow moving and it feels like nothing has been going her way but things are about to go her her way very very soon you guys are going to see it it's happening it's happening her goal is about to be reached and she's finally just listening to her own heart her own opinion, she's not taking it other people as she did in the past. Anything else, guys? Let's talk three months. Wow. Anything else? Let's grab one more, guys, in the next three months. Yes. You guys, seriously, oh my goodness, what did I say? What did I say about she's not taking other people's opinions to heart anymore? She was just, she was literally putting other people's opinions away before her own. She was letting other people really influence her decisions and her music and her sound and her vision. But this time she's holding her vision. She's not letting herself get, um, get carried away by other people's opinions. And she's looking at the bigger picture. Yeah, we have the full moon in Sagittarius. So this time around, you guys, I definitely see something new that she's doing and she's going to be a lot more adventurous because with Sagittarius is about um, moving outside of our comfort zone, trying new things, um, you know, trying new terrains, um, expanding our horizons. Literally, I just feel like she's being more adventurous this time around. So you guys are really going to see a new kind of like a different sound, a new side of her that you haven't seen before. Um, but yeah, so what else is happening in Somi's life? Let's just move this first. So what else is currently happening in Somi's life? How about relationships? What's currently going on in Somi's life? Okay, oh. Hmm. So in terms of relationship, it feels like things aren't really going very well. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So basically what happened is that there is a relationship that literally just ended and this is a person that she really really cared about um, but there was just too much pressure and too much weight. Um, this relationship feels very very heavy. There was so much pressure. It feels like there was a lot of fighting. Um, everything feels difficult with this person. Everything feels difficult. I feel like it's not like this person is a bad person but um, I mean, that's how I feel intuitively anyway, but we'll look into that in a little bit more. Um, but I feel like there are sometimes, they sometimes have such a different outlook in life that every little thing becomes a big thing. Every little argument becomes a big argument. Just making a decision can 
can become a big argument and a big fight so this is someone that she obviously cared about very very much um this is someone that she really invested her heart in but unfortunately it just didn't work out but um actually i'm gonna talk about this one in a little bit let's just focus on this person first can you tell us a little bit more about this person okay so with this person you guys um there was no stability um they never saw things eye to eye i feel like sometimes she would get <sighs> sort of i'm getting like a little bit um specific but this is the message that i'm getting it's almost as if let's say she's really excited about something like oh my gosh i'm so excited about trying this restaurant let's try it or this food and blah 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 blah. and uh, this person would be very good at shutting down her excitement like oh i tried it it really sucks you shouldn't get so excited about something like that that's how i feel he just kind of like shuts things down um and so it gets her really down and it makes her really confused because i feel like it comes as second nature for her to get excited about things and to want to celebrate things but this person never really wants to meet her there um this person doesn't really want to celebrate the little things that she wants to celebrate so that's the message that i'm getting and with the knight of cups in reverse too i feel like in the beginning of the relationship there was someone who was very romantic very good at expressing their emotions sensitive things like that well that's how they portrayed themselves anyway so that's how she expected this person to be throughout their relationship but um, towards the end, it's become very difficult for them to communicate. It's become, it's almost as if they, they've shut themselves out. So she can't communicate with him. She can't reach out. She can't let, like, it's like this person is not letting her in, you know? Um, so yeah, so I just feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like, um, it was bound to happen at some point, but... <laughs> Her guides are telling me that there is someone, there is someone, and she's already starting to open up to this person now. And this person is like the opposite in terms of energy as this person right here. With the two of wands, I see that they have very similar goals. They have very similar visions. They have the same qualities. They get excited about the same thing. So she gets to celebrate the, celebrate the little things with this person, you know, because she's like, oh my God, look at this. Don't you think this, um, don't you think this song is really good? And they're right there, like chilling with her, listening to the song, dancing with her, like, oh my God, yeah, it's such a, such a good tune. Like, yeah. And like, I don't know, like energy wise, the vibe and everything, they meet her there. It's the same vibe. They kind of understand each other. So that's how I'm feeling with the lovers too. They have such a great, like, um, the way they communicate is so well. They actually really love each other too. But I don't know. I feel like at the stage, they're not really that serious yet. It's still like, oh my goodness, you guys, you have no idea. Like this person is so good for her so good for her like they literally understand each other on a cellular level they get excited about the same things i feel like they could just be chilling at home all day and they could laugh so much that it would hurt they they enjoy spending time together and i feel like it's funny because she is someone who's quite adventurous she likes to experience a lot of things in life she likes to be active but with this person even the simple mundane things can be the most fun things so like staying at home ordering food chilling binge watching on netflix telling each other jokes getting to know each other things like that i feel like they're at this honeymoon stage right now where everything is just like so much fun and they make her so happy with the nine of cups it's like she feels so emotionally abundant she feels like there's nothing else she needs in life i am so happy that this person is here for her because like i mentioned before i feel like in friendships um she doesn't actually have that many people in her life that truly love her the way that she loves them i feel like um a lot of people in her lives are quite um two-faced or manipulative like they make her feel like they love her but actually they say things behind her back so i'm so happy that there is actually this genuine person in her life right now who truly cares about her who truly wants to make her happy and i could go on and on and on because it just makes me so happy but yeah anyway let's find out a little bit about this person let's find out a little bit about this person in sonny's life oops Wow, okay. 
That's why they're so wise. Mm. So basically, this person has been through a lot in terms of career. And this is so fun. <laughs> um nothing never mind um but anyway um this person has been through so much in their career they're very very hard working they have very strong vision i feel like they're in a very similar industry i'm not gonna say too much but i feel like um they've just been through a lot they've there are so many people that have hurt them or um just basically they've there's so many people that have done this person dirty and so um, they have been, they have become very careful in terms of opening up to people. Um, but Somi has been able to get this person out of their shell again and believe again. Um, but they're very, very, very hardworking and they're not giving up on building the dream that they want and the goals that they want to achieve. That's how I see it. Um, anything else about this person oh my goodness this person has literally been through so much so many disappointments it almost feels like because there's so many things that they want to achieve um in their career and it's almost as if like um they just have the worst luck this person has the worst luck in the past in terms of their career everything was so uncertain nothing was set in stone and things kept moving backwards and things like that but they keep persevering you know why because this person is a fighter i really like their energy like literally they um they're very smart um they're very wise um they're very hard working they persevere they keep going through and i feel like they've reached so many breakthroughs like this is boss energy. This is someone who is going to protect Somi. This is someone who truly cares about her. And this is someone who will always make time for her, even when they're going through a difficult time. But this person, oh my goodness, you guys, seriously, I love their energy. Yeah. And um, currently they're on, it almost feels like a hiatus or something like that they're currently working on something this person um like i told you guys i feel like they're in a similar industry um they're currently working on something they're currently working on something they're conceptualizing something so they're taking a break um while they're doing that and so yeah and there's someone who's very very creative like i said they're very smart very creative they have a very sharp mind and i really like them for some um but anyways guys is there anything else that you'd like to say let's move on from love because i feel like hi guys sorry the video got cut but i was just going to pick a few more oracles just to end this reading so guys anything else a lot of balance okay so i feel like um, Somi's been through a lot, like I mentioned, right? Um, things haven't been moving as slow as she'd like to. She's been putting in the work, but I feel like just things have been delayed. A lot of things have been canceled. A lot of things have been binned. It's just, it just has been very, very difficult for her. And it has taken a toll on her confidence. And I feel like right now her guides are basically saying that she needs to remind herself that she's good. She needs to basically regain that confidence that she's lost along the way. Um, she is very sensitive, you guys. I feel like, um, especially looking at her right now through her photo it's very obvious that she is someone who's very very sensitive um words do get to her people's opinions do get to her that's one of the reasons why i said you know um she does she did take a lot of people's opinions on board in the past um more so than her own and basically it's because she has taken a hit of confidence but she needs to currently remind herself that she's good she can do it she is a boss lady and this is going to be her time to shine she wants to shine and she is basically trying to remind herself of who she is um she is currently trying to make practical plans and balance things out we do have the full moon in pisces and the full moon in taurus there is this kind of like um stubborn energy right now because i feel like she's kind of like a bull right now where she wants to achieve so much in a um, very short time, but she needs to have a practical plan. She needs to know how to actually achieve these goals because um, she, she shouldn't rely on other people. That's, that's a message that I will say, because um, I do see that she was relying on a lot of people in the past and um, they failed her basically. So she needs to create practical plans that she can do herself, 
okay um also with the full moon in pisces this is the time for her to dream to balance spirituality practicality i feel like she needs to know when to take a break she needs to know when to take time for herself um but yeah guys i mean other than that i'm so happy about this person that is in her life right now i'm so 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 excited for her this love feels so happy so joyous and this person this person in her life has been through a lot so they're wise they're kind they're empathetic they're able to nurture her too because sometimes i feel like she needs some nurturing um but yeah and it's good that you know they're a good person and they're there for her and they're not fake they're not you know saying things she, they're just there it's it's love um but yeah and you guys if you've been waiting things are going to happen very very soon for somi so you just wait she's very excited it's a rebirth it's a new cycle it's a new somi um anyways guys I, guys sorry anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah take care of yourself please be kind to yourselves i hope i'll see you in my next one bye